I said, most of us are we're good at what we do, but oh, yeah. I'm never. I can, I'm not on twenty four seven. I work so, it, and I, I it's like you guys are on more than I am. I said, I said we train together, we work together. Huh. It's a cat brigade. Stripes. And I'm sitting there thinking to myself, going, okay, I made you guys officers because I trained with you. I, I trained you guys. I hope you guys become good at what you're doing. Yeah, exactly. I, these are why you are officers. If you're on the game playing it and you're other task force members, train them. Teach them. Yeah. Like, I watched two of them do this. Here, see this building right here? They went. They just went into the building like this. No, 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 no. You don't run into a building oh, just like this. They were running up to the field. Yeah, they ran just like that. No, 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 no. You're gonna always have yeah, your you weapon. Have yeah, have your weapon drawn. Mm -hmm. You. Hey, you're always, yeah, you're always gonna approach like this. You're never gonna go straight in, actually. Yeah, you throw you're a flash thing. A fly, yeah, flash a frag in there, and then you clear it procedurally. I say right clear, you say left clear, all clear. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They were just... You should use the chemical institute to train them. I should. Just clear it out, yeah, use it. Because it's a very, like, huge thing building. It's good for a direct action. And if you're going to do a recon close up a base, make sure you pick a good spot to hide at. Because if you're out in the open, forget it. I have one of yeah. my team members he was out in the open trying to recon a place like this and I was not with them I was on the other side of the map because I was doing something real quick and I told him to wait until I got back and I see like three health bars and I'm like what the fuck just happened well we were reconning a base and then we got attacked <laughs> were you hiding yeah were you sure they're like yeah I'm like don't respawn your health back. Let me go over there and find out. I fast traveled to them, sent my drone up to look. I said, that's not hiding. If you're going to hide, hide inside of a building where you know they're not going to come walking into you. Oh, yeah. Like, hmm. No, this right here. If this crate wasn't, if this thing wasn't in the way, this would be a good spot to hide at right here. If there's like no window right, if there's no like window right there, and it's solid right here, boom. That's what I used to do when yeah, I was exactly. in a Utah Dad base. I would hide behind a crate like this with no window, and I'd make sure that there was not an opening behind me. Because if there was, a big like, nope, not hiding there. Yep, exactly. And this is how I'd hide. I'd just be like this, hiding just like this. If well, I was not gonna let me do the uh, you know, lock on thing to it. And I would just hide yeah. just like that. And if I'm, especially with my gun drawn, if I'm hiding like this, I draw my gun because it see how it automatically does the people around the corner thing. And I people around the corner look, kind of edge out a little bit, look, mark my tangos. If I could take the shot, I take the shot. If there was too many of them around, I wouldn't take the shot. I would wait for the opportunity to take the shot. Yeah. And see, that's how I used to train my guys. I would actually have people play um, Op 4. That way, if they if they really did something dumb, they got, the Op 4 would just shoot them, and that way they see how they messed up. I wouldn't tell them. I just give them a live demonstration. Like, for instance, like you said, if they walk into a building like this or something, they just get lit by, like, two of the Op 4, and they know why they got lit up because they didn't have their weapon up. It's a live demonstration. If they walked in like this and didn't check that way, let's say you were Op 4, they get shot in the back. They didn't check the corner. It's better for like it's better for like muscle discipline. Yeah, because it also builds up muscle memory too. Yeah. You know what? You want to go do something? Oh yeah, sure. All right, I got a little I had a little mission planned out for us. All right. Hop. All right, we can take a bird or a hike down there. Uh, if you want to go for like. 100% realism, we can hike down there, but if you want to just get this, like, 
Uh, hiking Slightly sounds faster. more. Hiking sounds more fun. Yeah. Plus, I <laughs> I hike from like Kowani all the way to Libertad. I think I want to do that one day. Like I just want to round up a squad, put on some rucksacks, and we hike. Oh, I've done that in this camp. game. Yeah. Oh, is it fun? I, yeah, it was pretty fun. Me and my friends. I said, no, we're going to hike it. We're not even going to fast travel. We're going to play. You want to play this game realismly for fun? You can still have all your stuff turned on if you want, I said. But we're going to hike it. Yeah. Well, see, this is what I do. I'm like, can we just please take a vehicle? Like, some people are just like, I'm like, okay, yeah, we'll take a vehicle. <laughs> but I'll just, like, I'll drop, I'll make the LZ, like, in another province. Like, let's say, let's say the area operations was the cruise, like, down south. i put the LZ in, like, Villa Verde. That way we still got to hike from province to province. You still got your helicopter ride, like you said. You never said it had to be completely so you, uh, you just asked for a helicopter ride. I'm like, okay, I, need, I give you what you want. You still get what I want. I used, to, I used to laugh at the people who go, yeah, we're going to hike it. And then they stop and they fast travel. <laughs> you know what's so funny? I, like the dr I don't like fast traveling that much in this game. I like actually sometimes driving to destinations because sometimes you end up seeing something that you did not see driving through the game even if you already discovered the area but you may caught me something may have caught in your eyes that you never noticed because yeah. in this game there's a lot of detail to this game now imagine in breakpoint now we have blizzards we have tornadoes we have volcanoes growing in front of us thunderstorms yep yep now i was watching a gameplay there's no uh, i'm sorry but the guy ran into the tornado and i watched this care and watch this his I watch his character that he was playing as he gets sucked up into the tornado and <laughs> die <laughs> yeah I'm not going I'm sorry if a volcano is erupting I'm going the other direction if there's gonna be a tornado coming down I'm going I'm going like trying to get into an I'm gonna like find a place to set up shelter and stay in shelter and wait until the tornado bypasses yeah that's just, that's just common sense that's why they made the games. They want people to see. They want. I think to me. I think they're. I think Ubisoft and that that guy who is a Green Beret working for Ubisoft is testing out. Wants to test out these people who think they're all mighty and big and bad. Now I don't. To me, I'm not big and bad at all. Yeah. I just know. I just know when I do martial arts, I know what to do and how to do things. That's just me. Yeah, exactly. I know There's how to survive, I and I know how to do common sense. Yeah. Huh, yeah same here. Um, there is one thing that I do disagree about with the um, with uh, Ghost Recon break, uh, Breakpoint. I don't like the whole like robots. Like I understand the drones. The drones are cool. They, they kind of like you know even the odds. Like oh hey, but we got drones too. From like okay, yeah, that's cool. But then they started adding like you know. Robot, like CPU tanks and robotic tanks. I'm like, okay, all the all the engineering, all the robots and stuff. That's the all we killed. Like, that took away the entire special operations soldier field. Instead of the robot, like instead of more of the technology, I feel like they should have added like bounty hunters around the map, like dressed up yeah. like these are guys like tier one special ops and the wolves, and they're just around, like just waiting for you. And if you walk into the wrong spot at the wrong time, they'll just take you out. And you have to find them or just leave that area and go around them. I think that would have been better. Just have like, just have like an elite sniper group around just searching for oh, yeah. instead of robots. You okay, honey? <laughs> All right. Just making sure, baby girl. Oh, yeah. I, I, I told the answer. I was yeah. like, well, how many? The, tech, the, problem, the technical thing is, it seems to me that we're going to be fighting more eight robotic than we are fighting the wolves to me. It yeah, just seems like there's a Yeah, exactly. That's why. That's why I had the idea. I'm like, um, so yeah, we just that that'd be barely. Like, how badass would it be just being in a formation, you know, hiking, and then all of a sudden you get sniped from like an unknown quantity of an unknown source. That'd be cool, you know. You can pick up your guy, cover fire, even though you don't know where the source is coming from. It'd just be a lot more fun, make you feel hunted. The robots oh, yeah. don't really make you feel hunted. It just makes you feel like you're in the future. Terminator. You are, but I don't. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Terminator. But the funny thing about the game, Breakpoint game, is is that people, uh, everyone thought that we weren't going to have a squad. No, they said that we were going to get a squad, but the first part of the game, you're by yourself. Yeah. With this, your and drone. see, that wouldn't make sense, because it's too late to change the story now. Yeah. Your team gets killed. Oh, yeah. Fun fact, well, I don't think Hulk Weaver, got killed, because nobody, yeah. 
yeah. Holt supposedly survived or something like that. Weaver yeah. died from the from the injury of the helicopter crash. Um, Meteus dies. Midas. Midas, yeah. Weaver dies from a wolf from the wolf unit because yeah, he he's, he's getting shot in the back. Yeah, because he's he's stuck and he can't get out. And yeah. uh, Holt supposedly Holt. Sur survived with Nomad, but Nomad has no clue where Holt is at, and they supposedly I think they're holding Holt. They probably might have captured him to hold him hostage. Yeah. Or he's just, or holds just the AWOL. Yeah, he's and just, decided to I join know. them. <laughs> yeah. And or I mean, if you look on Wiki, uh, Wiki Fandom, it doesn't say he's diseased, but if you want to go in reality, he probably went AWOL, but you can't stay AWOL, like, for that long, especially in, especially in the war zone, the combat area. So I'm thinking he probably went AWOL for like, I don't know, a decent amount of time, then ended up getting executed shortly after. Because they probably they found him. Arrested. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. They found him. Or he joined them on the two, but no one really knows. Yeah, man, that's good, because Holt, Holt's actually the only one who wasn't in a relationship, so. Yeah, he was the one that Nomad didn't really uh, get along with that much, because he's like, God damn you, Holt. Yeah. Cause it was a it's smirky, kind of like, was a smirk, and he was he was smirky anyways, and he was always, he always did in the books he always did stupid stuff to always make no man mad. Oh. Cause half the times Hope would compromise something, and no man be God damn you. <laughs> but I wish there was more. I wish there was more wolves instead of uh, um, machines. A anybody can yeah. take down anyone can f the machines are going to be tough to take down that I will say but other than that I think the wolves might give us more of a challenge if they added more wolves to it that'd be more of a challenge now they're saying yeah, about exactly. updates to the game that they want to add into the game I said don't please don't add stupid stuff to this game please don't add stupid stuff to breakpoint I, we don't need no player versus player in breakpoint we don't need none of that bullcrap stuff are you going to add something into it add some some weapons that would be really cool looking that would would be awesome to use yeah, technically I, I don't really care because an assault rifle is an assault rifle and a sub is a sub and a handgun is a handgun so it doesn't really matter yeah it depends I'm guessing it might depend on the NATO rounds that the assault rifle uses and the sub uses okay I an update for p armor piercing rounds cool Oh, hey, there's a drone vehicle coming at us. Hey, guy with the rocket launcher, blow that fucking thing up. Yeah, a lot of people don't want to use the assault class because it comes with a rocket launcher. I'm like, that will come in handy for certain things. Save yeah. it for when you need to use it. Don't just use it. Mm. I, I like realistic shooting, too. Like, whenever, like, whenever we're doing sniper spotter ops, um, I say, so, you know, we're... Requiring targets, getting them, uh, you know, compensation, trajectory, wind speed, wind direction, target location, target movements, all that needs to be measured when um, spotting. So I say fire, don't. I'm like, dude, you obviously don't know procedures. It's fire, fire, fire. And then you wait a sec. Because, like, personally, I like to wait a sec before I engage just to make it realistic. Because even in, even like IRL in reality, you can't just draw your weapon that fast and engage and confirm and kill. You have to actually, you know, oh, <laughs> you have to yeah. wait for your sight to clear up and you're on target, <laughs> make sure you have stability, and then that's when you engage. We, uh, we do, uh, well, honey, we used to do, uh, when my, when my friends used to do sniping, we'd do red light, red light, he'd say red light, red light, yellow light, yellow, yellow, then he'll say green. And the minute he said green, that's when he did the, uh, that's when he would take the shot. And he would say, great, and then he would tell us to wait. That's what the sniper's supposed to do. He'll say, wait. Yeah. And we would wait, because I was up against this building. He goes, Nomad, wait. I'm like, okay. I got three pop, I got two targets coming your direction. I said, do you have, do you have sight, do you have line of fire on them? And he goes, no, not, no, not yet. And he'll say, he'll say red. Then he'll go yellow. He'll say green, and yeah. he would take out the two targets instantly. And then we move on to the next. Then we would. He goes, "You are a go. You can move forwards." I'm like, thanks. I'll be like, "Overwatch, thank you." Move to your next. 
relocate your position and move somewhere else. And he would move somewhere else. He would not. He would not stay in one spot because a sniper never stays in one <coughs> spot, especially if he knows yeah. that. Especially in this game, because in real life, yes, he could stay in one spot because they would yeah. never know where he's at. In this game, I don't. I'm sorry, but. I hope they take out that. I hope in Breakpoint, if I shoot somebody, they're not going to know where the hell I'm at. <laughs> yeah. Instantly. At least, at least search, like, have them search, but they search the wrong area. That'd be real stupid. Oh, yeah. Because I hate the idea when I have to run to go hide somewhere else, and yet they know where I'm at. Yeah. I'm like, I'm sorry. If I shot from 500 meters and hit that guy. There's no way he would know where the bullet was coming from. Yeah, I see. I try to keep. I try to keep my realistic. I try to keep like um, eighty. I try to keep eighty to ninety percent of my snipers doing recon, and ten to twenty of them, oh, like ten to twenty percent of it, is actually pulling the trigger. Good thing I held back Make on the. Yeah. You know, I learned that hold back on the analog stick when walking down this road when you're walking down a hill. Yeah, especially in provinces like these in Northern. Oh yeah, oh, these are these these got me a bad um a bad memory. So me and my bud were doing a mill some not pod or somebody else back back at the time. This is like this is like a year ago actually. It's like a year yeah, it's about a year ago, a little over a year ago. And so we're doing an op in this province. I think it was it was either it was either here or tobacco. I'm pretty sure it was here. So we're hiking hiking across steep mountains just like we fall it fell down before. You know, we're just doing that. We're hiking from about 2300 all the way to about uh, 0327, something like that. And we recon this enemy camp with the drones because it was it was CTR, close target reconnaissance. And so we do that, and then we hop over the wall and infiltrate. So we get compromised, we're in a gunfight, and we get the lieutenant. Apparently the, ten, apparently the lieutenant has no intel. So we're forced to just knock him out and then execute him and go. It was a, it was a huge failure. That was like Operation Red Wings on the budget. <laughs> that makes sense. Make sure I'm not going to get by yeah. a car because uh, cars love to come out of nowhere. Yeah. Especially in some provinces, you did that loves to come out of nowhere in some provinces, and I'm like, why? Especially in their provinces, like um, Forty Oro. Oh yeah. Yeah. But and when they and when they started adding in these stupid missions like Operation Oracle and this and stuff in certain areas where they're not highly supposed to be at, they're they're more in that area too. Yeah. Like, I wanna say something that we might uh, some some uh, you know some guys do. Well see if we're too close and we can't really speak like verbally, then we do like sign language like this this means stop instead of be quiet. This obviously means rally up. Oh yeah. I, I often use this means fire. I use this as like I use this as fire sometimes, or or you know push up, and this uh, means like advance. Yeah, like, yeah, this, I'll uh, do that too. Yeah. Like if we're close to each, like if we're like you know close to each other and we're in an area full of enemies, I would do that. I'll be like, okay, move out, or I'll say, hold your position. Like I'll like use the be quiet for hold your positions, and everyone would be oh they would see, they would stop and get down low. Yeah. yeah. If something's clear and we can't talk, we just do like well done. But like okay. This area is okay. Until I'm like everything is cleared out and then we open up comms again. Yeah. We actually use a uh, comms app. Well, okay. So if we're in like if we're in like different areas, like for instance, let's say it's a ground like have you seen my um the hostage situation uploaded, like uh, oh yeah, so I saw it. Yeah, yeah, that was a uh, that was the app we're using. All right, I got a sniper, four hundred six meters out. Will go. The wind is a. About light, very, very light. I say bullet drop would be a little, a little over severe, or a little under, a little under severe. So 
trajectory will be about 250, give or take. The wind is coming from the coming from the southeast, going towards the west. Right towards the northwest, okay. I wish the wind actually affected bulls in this game. It'd be so good, like if you're gonna play Medal of Honor, you have to oh yeah, I got it. Down. Stupid ass down. cat jumped on me and made me drop my controller. Yeah, good. I'll just soak the fire. I wish they did do that in this game. It needs to. Breakpoint said they'd probably bring in the bullet, the, the wind projectory and bullet drop projectories for us and all that. Oh, yeah, that'd be cool. They were fighting and one jumped right on top of me and got me in my shoulder and made me drop my controller. I really... Pfft. Yeah. Alright, sniper's down. I'm just waiting for them to calm down. They don't even know where we're at anyway, so... Yeah, that's the good thing about picking them off from a distance. They really have no idea. If you're 150 meters or closer, that's when they, when they start to zero you in. But if you're about 400 meters, then you're much good. Which I think is so stupid. <laughs> Because <clears throat> in real life, if somebody shots me at 150 meters, they wouldn't be going, oh, he's over there. They'd be on the ground doing yeah. this. They'd be on the ground grabbing yeah. their arm, crying for their mothers. Yeah. And by like, time... Well, I didn't sign up for this. And by time they, by time he even, by time they even know, realize what's going on, the, 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 the special forces unit that we're playing as would already had those three guys dead instantly in real life. Yeah, exactly. Before they even got a chance to go, oh, what the hell? Yeah, exactly. Because they synchronized the take down. I mean, see, the thing is, though, by the time you get killed, you've been, like, the time you get killed by, like, a special forces operative, they've been like, watching you for, like, a minimum from, like, 30 to 3 hours, 30 minutes to 3 hours, so... It's not he just washed up there, looked at you, engaged, just like, oh yeah, we, they've been watching you. Okay, why is the gun firing like that? My controller is being stupid. I bring out my I bring out my binoculars and the gun fires with the binoculars coming out. Time for probably an upgrade time for maybe a new controller eventually. But it's a brand new controller anyways. I might just oh, have yeah. to unsh what I do is I probably just have to unscrew it and probably clean out the buttons. That's what I do. I just unscrew it and I clean it out and put it back together. Oh yeah. I need to let the take down the controls. Hmm. That one guy is upstairs still hiding. I like how the AIs can just like sink shot right through buildings, but you can't sometimes, so it depends on what rifle you're using. Oh yeah. Like I had a friend on here, he goes, man, what type of assault rifle are you using? The 5.56 XI? Yeah. That passes. He goes, man, that rifle is awesome, I go. It's like any other assault rifle in this game. It just does what it does. Oh, yeah. I'm like, they're, I'm, I'm sorry, but as a, a, in real life, Real life assault rifles are different from game schematics, anyways, so it doesn't oh, yeah. really matter because you're not going to try to put it in a bigger round into a assault rifle that, that can't take a 5.6 5.56 nano round versus uh, a whatever, for example, whatever an AK-47 takes for a assault for for a bullet. AK-47 takes like 5.56.3 or 5.56.3 rounds. Because I've seen the I've seen the MK-18 in real life at a gun shop store, and I think they take like a uh, the new I think they take like the newer NATO rounds because it's like supposed to be the MK-18 is supposed to be a an actual hybrid combination of a uh, the M4A1 or something like that because it's supposed to be uh a combination between a light machine gun and an assault rifle. So in other words, it has like the firing power of a submachine of a submachine gun and built into an assault rifle. Yeah. Oh, they calmed down. Work. Huh.
Yeah, like, oh. <laughs> yeah, like, probably just a rat or something. Yeah, I was doing a, uh, one of the provinces in this area earlier. I uh, took out all the sniper towers, uh, took out the patrol units, snuck into the base, took everybody out, and successfully grabbed my target and interrogated the, uh, the Sicario leader. Oh, nice. See, that's the thing I never do. I, I never really interrogate him on site unless it's like a multi-phase op. It's really just a simple snatch and grab. I snatch him. Bring him back to the nearest uh, fourth uh, encampment, just wherever. Whatever he's needed, <laughs> then we target him there, knock him out, probably execute him later. I wish in one of the mission, I wish in, like in the same Fisher mission on here that we were able to like knock out some, at least some guards, and like, we could like drag them off to hide their bodies. Yeah. No, they should have. They should give the tranquilizer gun. Oh yeah. Temporarily. Yeah, that'd be that'd be cool. Cause you're not killing them, but you're also able to use force. Or a st or my favorite one is the uh, assault right the uh, stun guns. Like like I in Metal Gear Phantom Pain, I had the uh, a I had like the uh, AK forty the M whatever the hell he had the MSR or something like that or the AR or something stun assault yeah, rifle. Yeah. Yeah. AMRS, yeah, that's right. AMRS four. Yeah, I had uh, I had my the car I had a most me when I played them. I had two different settings. I had assault. I had a uh, lethal and non-lethal setting on him. So I always played the non-lethal setting. So I always got like, yay, snake! You didn't kill nobody. <laughs> <laughs> like, eh, I'm like I can go in there and kill everybody, but that's too easy. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's easy. Knocking them out is more fun. The one they can wake back up. Like you move quickly. Alright, let's get down here. I still like that ghost leader doesn't do nothing a ghost leader doesn't do nothing at all he stays behind and just t drones and recons or anything and t gives out tactical orders I'm like ah no Not squad either. leader in the military would do that I I've watched uh, you ever seen a TV show called seal uh, seal team with uh, the guy who played as a uh, buff as uh, angel and from like you know Buffy the vampire slayer and all that where he has his own TV show and called angel he plays in it and He's the, he's the leader of his squad, and even he was doing things. I've, I'm sorry, but I've never heard of a squad there not helping a squad out. That That's court-martial right, terminology right there. Yeah. Well, see, I hear people think they know everything because they watch films and documentaries. Like, I keep telling them, stop watching National Geographic thinking you know everything. We understand that you like playing this game, but you're not really in the military. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be a video game operator. <laughs> There's a difference. I don't consider myself a real military at all. I consider myself a video game operator because I'm playing a video game and I know what I'm doing because I'm yeah. playing it and I'm having fun. I can't. I never really tell anybody if I'm military or not for safety reasons. Yeah. Just, uh, yeah, I literally just, I can't tell you that. If people ask me, were you in, if people say, were you in the military for real, I go, nope, I'm just a gamer. <laughs> oh, I, I am an I mean, operator, gamer that. operator who plays video games at home. <laughs> yeah. They go, what's that supposed to mean? I'm a guy who just plays Ghost Recon games at home. That's all I play. Yeah, I'm an operator on a video game. <laughs> no, I was kidding. Was... So, like, that makes no sense. It's like don't even try. It's, it's not supposed to make any sense. You're a gamer, right? He goes, yes. Well, you're a gamer operator who operates on video games, who plays video games like this because you know you just you're good at them. Shit. 
sure there's like no one else around. Oh, hostile, hostile down yep. below, 65 meters. Oh, I see Left. him. Arm. I was just checking the buildings too, make sure nobody was gonna pop out of the buildings when going down this hill. Keep the security on that. All right, I'm going in. All right, I'm advancing. Uh, I got, I got, I got personnel to the right. Personnel to the right. All it's right. like a civilian under the uh, under the gas area or whatever. Car. To the right. Out yep, I block. see him. Right. He's got a hostile amount of weapon. About four o'clock at that hostile All right. Watching that hostile to the right, moving in. Wait for him to leave. I get smart because I don't like I don't like people like see walking around and they see a dead body or a knocked up body. I didn't yeah, push. That's the aspect was concealment. Of course. Alright, go and sleep out of this uh sector of the compound. Alright. I'll take part. Let's move back this way. Stack up, you ready? Ready. Alright. So, yeah. Let's do a cross speed shot. I'll take a right. Take a left. Ready? Ready. Alright, going in. Clear right. Clear left. Oh, clear. Civilian. Civilian in the Belgian. Oh, no. Bathroom clear. Looks like we got a repair shop that uh, it's my tool. Alright. We got a tower left. Just to be clear. And a whole little um relay station is clear. Network. Alright, I'm Oscar Mike. Checking behind. Behind Claire. Alright, moving up. Back up. Still like a button hook, what you think? Okay. Clear left. Clear right. Gotta do it going out. These guys back turn these 142 meters moving away into. Drone. Wilco. Drones are everyone. Uh, checking. Alright. Mark dogs moved up. Cartel. Jeans. Muscle shirt. Oh, he's going back. If I was looking at it. I'm looking at potential friendly POW, so I see a cage, stand by. See if I can locate any friendly assets. Yes, one, one rebel. 
Wait, negative. Wait, yeah, that's one rebel in the cage. His armor and not the weapon. Alright, somebody sum up my total that this drone picks up. Drone feed one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, about eight hostiles, maybe nine. Alright, bring the drone back. Hostile to the road to the left. Left. Oh, is he close? Oh, yeah, I see him. Okay. Alright, just think, just think that up now. Okay. Alright. Might as well just move out and get on this wall or the structure right next to us. Alright. I swear I thought he was a narco. Civilian in the camouflage. Alright. Ow. I got this one the hostile you were pointing out earlier. On the phone. Huh. Alright. Scouting the mounted weapons make me kind of nervous. Hmm. Alright, I'm thinking, I'm thinking drop him and then let's wrap this other guy. He's probably gonna see us as we cross, so the only thing we'll be we'll be able to do is drop him. Alright. If you wanna cross over, I'll cover. Alright. Cover. Covering. Sit. Alright, move I might have moved back to this bar. Uh, the hostile on the road starts coming. Well, he's going back into the compound, came over here and said a phone call or something. Uh, we could have moved, moved across the road and infiltrate from the left side, what you think? Yeah, there seems to be less uh, activities to the left side. Just gotta take out that guy right there and the gunner once we get close enough. Without alerting the base. All right, let's do it. All right, Vincent. All right, on your six. We'll go. All right. Grab cover and come in by the move across the road. Moving. Got your cover. Set. Alright, I'm cover. Covering this up inside. Front side covered. Alright. Getting up there, getting up there. I might do a little bit of climbing for this one. Uh, I'll do it and get there. We can go this stuff. Alright, we'll right, let's open, open it right here. It's not popped off. We are in the compound with enemy forces now, so if we do plan on sleeping these guys out, we'll have to do it quick. Hmm. Uh, three we got some Heimer. Yeah, we got three yeah, in one building. 
But scratch that, we got nine guys. Got one over again. Sounds like Blanca, Lieutenant, coming my way right now. Hold on. Okay. Get ready to grab him. Oh, he's coming. He's, he's moving to you, sick. So, what's going on? About to go grab him. All right, cover me. He's like right here. All right, gotcha. Oh, yeah. This is really okay. You bastard. Shut the fuck up and do what I say, all right? Let's see if this guy knows anything. No piece useless. All right. Get out sleep tight. It's starting to become nighttime. Right. Maybe eventually they will go to sleep. Oh, yeah. Uh, you you want to be that much of a dick? You want to wait here? You want to wait till they actually go lights out? Still yeah. Right, do it. Let's back up though, song. Like about out right here. Right, I don't know. I don't know exactly when they're gonna go lights out, but it's just. Um, well, I'm keeping drunk here. Oh, this, yeah, this is the fun part. Waiting. <laughs> yeah. Russ, I like I like taking like thirty minutes to attack a compound. My yeah, other friends like stuff. to rush in there and just try to take it off my ass. They be like, uh, Nomad, why are you why are you so far behind us? <laughs> because you guys got the whole base alerted and I'm not running I'm not gonna rush in there. I'm gonna wait till they calm down or I'm just gonna watch you guys be stupid and get killed. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna wait till you guys die until they calm down. I try to keep drone as realistic as possible. I drone. I make. I check ourselves to make sure we can identify personnel carefully. And that's when I send it out and I always bring it back. I don't just do it mid mission. But like you know, while it's airborne, I just bring it back. I try to keep in a relatively close um, pace. So I'm Hold on. I'm gonna go feed my cat real quick. <laughs> Let me know when they, I'll be right back. Probably most of them that are inside the building will probably go to sleep. The ones on patrol probably won't because they're going to be staying in the gunners. Mm, well, honey? Okay, you got to get up in the morning for something, honey? I love you too. Night night, baby girl.
since World War. The way we usually do like our camps and our files, we have two people on security and then the other two gets to get some shut out if they need it. Sometimes no we pretend to cook. I can't wait. I heard that. I can't wait for that and breakpoint. That's gonna be so fun. Oh yeah. Like I can't wait to see people. Oh, they're gonna react to that because I we, we, I said like when we were setting up camp I said some of uh, like we'll have like one guy in Metro and he has to like literally let everybody know what's going on. Yeah. I wish like I wish the bivouacs because the bivouacs are kind of probably points you literally just find them. I wish you actually had to set them up. I think that would be better. Oh yeah. Technically, a lot of people are not liking the idea that that we're getting classes and breakpoint they uh they'd rather just be able to do it the way they've always the way they do been doing it in uh wildlands i said well you know we're not the creators of the game they yeah this is their game i'm about to move the drone up further there's no berries on the other side of the compound that is empty Yeah, don't say anybody's gonna do it. It is 22.57. They should be going to bed very soon. It's getting darker out. Oh, yeah. It's 11 o'clock now. They have to, somebody has to at least go to bed by old dark. <laughs> there's a traffic jam. <laughs> I'll see you again. There's a traffic jam built up over there. Oh, wait, let me see. Oh, there it is. There's always a traffic jam over here. It's the time. It's probably like 75. <laughs>
Tangos are coming into tent. Tangos are coming into tent. Alright, Roger. Well, yeah, you get eyes on one. It's one of them. Alright, two of them, two of them there. One uh, automatic rifleman slash heavy soldier, and the other is a foot soldier. They're getting ready to lay down and go to bed. That's one. Well, let's wait and see what the other ones are doing. Now, this is how a night operation is supposed to really work. Yeah, exactly. I just started in there slipping it, just conducting a whole bunch of reconnaissance. And then take the right time to go in there when they're sleeping. Because when they're sleeping, I sneak in there and I just, like, knock them out. That's why I wait. Well, we like, so that's what I do. I wait until like I wait until like my team, like me and if it's me and if like two me, if it's me and my one from playing, we'll both like wait till they fall asleep and we'll both sneak in there and we'll both like take a side and knock out the person on the right side or the left side. Yeah. But we always wait just in case, because you know, because there's more walking around, so we're not sure what they're gonna do. So we're waiting to see. I'm pretty sure those two are probably sitting at a desk in the command center. Alright, so did you want to wait for the like did you want to wait for the number to or did you want to move in right now? Let's see, those two are patrolling the road. Right. Uh there's two more barracks across the compound. Two more in there. We got another heavy moving. Huh? We got another heavy. Okay, we got three now. Three laying down sleeping. Nope. Uh, one, two. No, he moved to a different position. But he's laying down sleeping. That guy seems to be walking around a lot. Yeah. Hold on, he's coming this way. Let's see if he's coming this way now. I know he's taking quality, so let's push him bit. Three inside the command center now. Yeah. Right. I guess uh we can we can move him for a search in the O three hundred. Okay, two are oh they are two in the t they are literally two in the other tent laying down sleeping over across from us. Yeah. Let's say we got another one on patrol, foot soldier, infantry, two SMGs. Two are sleeping and two patrols. So, yeah. I say we move in, take out the first tent quietly, knock them out without, without alerting anybody. Alright. Alright, uh, let's wait to like, maybe like, oh, 0200. Well, no, no, no. Let's do it right now. Alright, you ready? Ready. Alright, let's do it. Alright, which one you want? I will take the right. All right, one for the left. Are you ready? Ready. I see this. He's down. Nice. Oh, right, right, right. We got some for the We want to move behind the building. In order to end it up. Yeah. Yeah. So oh, yeah, behind the yeah. building, good idea. We got like yeah. movement. Or not. That's right. Yeah, I got got a few. Got a little bit of movement on the feet. Yeah, All right, we got a building right here. We'll sweep it. All right. All right. This is bright in here, so one of the MPGs. All right, you ready? Ready. Alright, reach in. First floor clear. Lost the window, so I'll stay down. Alright. Hostile Second going floor. to tent. Yeah, Roger. 
open up second floor. Alright. Checking second hostile floor movement. Floor. Roger. Hostile is laying down, hostile is laying down. Roger. Going to go uh, intercept. Yep, intercepting now. Alright. I'm scared of rooftop clear. Hostile down. Alright. Alright. I'm gonna come down and rally up. Alright, watching patrol units right now, walking around. Coming back around. I can drop it. Blue, blue. Alright. Alright, you wanna keep moving this way? Yeah, this way be safer. Watching that patrol unit right, right. around there. Yeah. Wait, wait, patrol's coming back, patrol's coming back. Alright. Just wait till he even turns his back. You could even waste him. Alright, he's moving. Moving left, right. Horizontal, or, yeah, horizontal. Alright, let's move slowly. Still we're going up left. Window. Power station. Alright. Staying I'm down just gonna low. pie this room there. Alright. I'm not even gonna breach, I'm just gonna pie it. Clear. Alright. Oh, somebody got up, somebody got up. Hiding behind the wall. Yeah, lying over here by the tent. Down. Oh, look at that. Nice. Nice. Clear. Alright. Now, bull right. crap. I don't care. That's a tent. Bullets could fly, th could shoot through that tent. Yeah, exactly. That's right. I tried to shoot through it, too. Alright. Let's get rid of these two rookies. Switch me one patrol or the not to weapon guy. Take out the mounted weapon guy, and I'll take out the guy walking. All right, I'm ready. Put and acquire your targets. All right, you ready? Yep, ready. Three, two, one, engage. This guy walks one around. Down. That guy walks around too much. <laughs> He's down. Yeah. All right. Come on, wait. To, uh, so let's just sleep at the compound before I let that ripple out. No. I'm about to, I'm about to flash out the constellation. All right. All right. Flash out. Watch out for the flashbang. Oh, that was bright. Left clear. Right cleared. All right. Got some comms over there. Choir. Now that's yeah. how you take down a compound and clear everything. Hey, let me take that video clip. That was badass. <laughs> yes, might, it was. Might even be too long, but I'm saving. I don't care. I'll trim it. Yep, got that and all of that.